One, two, three, go. So scary. Let's start a bit lower, maybe. That's one of the most epic jumps of my whole life. Okay, introduction. Hi, my name is Ellie Smart. And I'm Owen Weymouth. And we're professional cliff divers. Time for an epic cliff diving adventure with the cliff diving couple. We're gonna try to find seven epic cliffs in seven days. All right, so mission one of the day is to go to the shopping mall because we don't have the tape measure. And I also think I forgot my board shorts in the room. You forgot your board shorts? Yeah. Oh, and that's a one thing as a diver you should remember is your own diving shorts. This is my... I think we're at like our fifth store and it's our final store. This one is really promising. If we don't find it, we are giving up for the day and we will just go cliff jumping anyways, but we'll stay on a little bit lower heights to be safe. Yeah. So we found a laser. We did not find a tape measure. The longest tape measure was like 10 meters, which doesn't really do anything. But the guy was like, oh, I have another toy for you. And Owen was like, oh, yay. Oh, and then, um, yeah, Owen found this laser that can go up to 50 meters. But I've heard that they don't work very well with water. So I'm like curious to see if it works, but I guess there's only one way to find out. And we are off to cliff number one. And I'm super excited. Are you excited though? Me on cliff jumping trips, you know, we're just cheesing inside. <laughs> okay. Two, one, send it. Two, one. We finished spot number one, and now we have six more to go. So on to the next. What's up you guys, it is day two of seven days, seven cliffs, and we are here in Antalya, and we are actually gonna be searching for the location that Red Bull Cliff Diving came in 2009. They had a cliff diving competition here, so we're gonna see if we can find that on the map, and then hopefully jump from somewhere near there. So we are gonna go check that out and hopefully it's jumpable. So there's this cliff here, but then way back there, that I think is where the Red Bull competition took place from. So we're a little bit far away, but maybe this will be jumpable too. So Owen's gonna jump in, he's gonna do the depth check, make sure it's four, five, ideally six meters deep. Um, and then we'll try to figure out the height and if it's jumpable, we will uh, do it. Well, I bet that is 20 meters. Oh, and then it's first jump. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone here and we're just a kilometer down the road from where we just were, checking out another cliff. So we're looking at that cliff right over there because this would have been a good one, but there's rocks down there. Okay, we made it to the Red Bull Cliff Diving location and it is so beautiful. So it is right 
let's see, right there on that corner is where they did the event in 2009. And I kind of know that because you can tell from this back here, you can see it in the old videos. So we officially found it and now we're gonna go depth check and make sure it's still safe to jump and see how high it is. For sure Owen will jump. I don't like to go as high when we don't have safety and things in the water like that. So I will probably go a little bit lower, but it's okay. Let's go find out if it's still jumpable. Not gonna lie, this spot is absolutely beautiful. You got the view of the beach over there, all of downtown Antalya. And it's just an absolutely perfect 20 meter with deep water, so going for it. Time to dive. All right, I just made a schoolboy error and filmed my last dive in narrow GoPro mode, so I missed that dive. So, time to do it again. Every single trip we come on, we try and do at least one cleanup. So today we're back at the spot that we were jumping yesterday because it was pretty dirty and we're gonna do a little cleanup of the area. Okay, so we're seeing lots of masks this year and the usual plastic bottles. Oops. These look like they weren't even used at all, not even one. Okay. Oh, these are the worst. Cigarette butts are always everywhere. Mm. Literally only like 10 minutes we were here, but oh, we already got this giant bag of trash picked up. So now we are uh, gonna dispose of it. We gotta figure out where exactly we're gonna do that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna figure that out and then we're gonna head down the coast and go on the next cliff diving adventure. Cliff diving in paradise. Oh yeah. We're just rocking up to the beach, out here. We are gonna go explore and hopefully find two cliffs today. That's the goal. Let's do it. All right, we have two choices. Big pebble or mermaid. What's your vote? Let's go on three. I'll say mine, you say yours. Ready? Yeah. One. Two, three, mermaid. Big pebble. Oh, tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. One, two, three, go. Oh, I won, Buster. Mermaid. Here we go. I'm so glad we bought our shoes. This would have been miserable as hell with bare feet. I absolutely hate back and reverses, but I'm gonna do a flying reverse. I haven't done this in like two years, so. Don't judge me if it sucks. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Three, two, one. He acts like he's nervous, but he loves it. And he even has a couple people clapping for him. So you know he's a happy boy right now. I can't actually remember the last time they did a straight jump off of a cliff. Like, it honestly was probably years ago. So I am just going to do about a 12 meter straight jump and just enjoy the ride down. Owen's down there. Three, two, one, go. this corner and go check out some bigger ones, right? Yeah. Gosh. 
my heart is beating so much that it's so scary. I don't know how he does some of the things he does. Like I can barely just, I keep my feet still on this rock as it is. Like the one he just dove from is even crazier. I don't get it. Here's the takeoff point right over here. And you can just about see that I have to land in like a really narrow gap. It starts really thin and gets a little bit wider. So the aim is to jump out as far as possible to have the biggest width. So that was just a comfort zone to straight jump it. And now I'm going to do a nice big old fly in front. So let's go. I wouldn't normally dive with shoes on, but these are jagged cliffs. Indiana Jones stuff. That gap, ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <sighs> It is day five here in Turkey and we are off to find cliff number six. We are in the car, road tripping back up the coast towards Olympus to hopefully find a another little cliff. It is super pretty and we climbed through these ruins to get there and it was actually really cool. Um, Owen is going to figure out how high it is. What do you think? I'll drop it right here. Twenty, something like that. Sounds about right. Let's start a bit lower, maybe. Work our way up. Yeah. Going in for a little depth check. That's our spot that we're aiming to hit. So it's all deep in here. We see some boulders over there. So we're just going to go check them out before we do it. Just did the depth check and it's a little bit iffy. It's deep in some areas, but it's got boulders and in some areas it's two or three meters deep, which is not very safe from that high. So I think we're going to call it a day on this cliff and just head back in. We're definitely uh, bummed and disappointed, but it's better to be safe than sorry. We don't think it counts as a cliff, but we're still gonna jump off it so it doesn't feel like a total failure of a day. So today we woke up with a little bit of a change of heart. Obviously we got in here to Olympus Beach last night and it was already getting dark. There was no light on the water. So that was an extra factor of danger because there is some boulders in the landing area, um, which we couldn't really see from the top. So today we're gonna go back and give it one more go because we got some beautiful weather and I think we might just be able to get it done today. So fingers crossed. death boulders. I know exactly where they are, but it doesn't make it any less concerning. On the edge now. Um, Ellie's over there. Way bells. That way is too dangerous. There's a boulder there and there's a boulder there. So I've got to go in between land right there. That's my mission. Off I go then. Okay, got my lucky rock. Chucking it down. Ready, Els? Three, two, one, dive. Epic. 
we're being held up by some goats. <laughs> Lots of goats. Okay, Owen, what's your first thought? My first thought is that that water is incredible. It's absolutely crystal clear. And the guy told me that it's more than five meters deep. It doesn't look it because it's so crystal clear, but that's what water does to your eyes sometimes. So hopefully once we go in there and uh, check it out, it's all good. This side of the bridge definitely looks deeper than that side of the bridge. So we're gonna throw a rock and try to gauge how high it is. 2.4 seconds is 27 meters. So, three, two, one, 2.45. So I think it's about 27 to 30 meters. So epic. Coming back. Good news is, that's deep in there. Woo. It's not warm in here though. Okay, you just finished the depth check. What'd you think? Well, the good thing is that water is absolutely sapphire blue. So it's not very difficult to see all the rocks. And luckily there's nothing really bad in there. On this side of the bridge, it's like four meters deep. On the other side, it's five meters deep. So we want to go a little bit deeper. I'm probably going to dive from the other side of the bridge. But first, I'm going to go across the bridge down lower because there's a lower cliff to jump from. So I want to start at around 15 meters and then we'll see how high the bridge is after that. Okay, let's do it. We're just under the bridge right here. It's freaking gorgeous. And I'm going to straight jump it because I don't really know how high it is, but hopefully I should get a feeler with a little straight jump. All right, we don't have any splashes in the water, so it's the three rocks. One, two, and a three. Here we go. Okay, Owen, you just finished the jump. Yep. Tell me about it. That was one of the most epic jumps of my whole life, just because of this spot. It's a Roman bridge, 2,000 years old, across this beautiful blue sapphire canyon. And that's one of the most epic straight jumps I've ever done. Is your adrenaline pumping? Oh, yeah. I can tell. You look. But it's also freezing in there, so. <laughs> it's a combination of everything. Yeah. Well, it looked pretty good. Oof. I'm proud of you. That was seven cliffs and seven days, baby. Yeah, it was. Your part is lost. 